Hello guys, I come again. Mm, so last time I hope that you enjoyed my first course. So I come back to you and today I'm going to present you a lesson on prepositions. A very complicated lesson in English. Uh, prepositions, okay? Maybe prepositions of time and place. So, the most common preposition we use in English are maybe in, on, at, from, mm, since, sometimes, since, to, for, etc., etc. So, we can focus on these seven prepositions for the today's lesson. And first we're going to tackle in A. We go to in. Okay, so let's go to, what does it go with in? The prepositions in is quite different from at and it's quite different from to. I'm going to give you some examples that can go with, with in. When you use towns or countries, for example, you can say in can go with this town. So we said cities, for example. You said in Richard, Richard Toll. Okay, you said I live in Richard, Richard Toll. You can say also if goes with country sometimes. For example, you said in Senegal, in Senegal. You said I live in, in Senegal, so it can go also with countries. When you have also a year, year is something like 2018, 2017, 1998, okay, so you said for example, I was born in 1983. You said I was born in 1983. In can go also with seasons. So, uh, in Europe you have four seasons. For example, you have um, the summer. Maybe it is the season of the hot weather. And the opposite to the summer is winter. You have also autumn. and it's called fall by Americans, autumn, they said fall, and you have also the spring, the spring. So when we use seasons in a text or in your writing, you said in summer, in winter, in autumn. You, you don't say at summer or something like this. Okay, the right preposition for seasons is in, okay? And let's go to another use of in. It goes with month. You don't say on October, but you said in October, in November, in December, okay? You say, for example, I take my vacation in June or July. I go on vacation in June or July. And this is the use of in. Now, let's go to on. So, what do we use the prepositions on for? So, first we said on goes with specific dates. Specific dates. For example, we said on the 19th, or we said on the 25th of December. You said Christmas is celebrated on the 25th of December. So when you said also Christmas celebrations, you said on Christmas. You said on Easter, on the Tabaski day, or things like this, okay? Events like Christmas goes with on two. So, on also goes with days. 
So you can say, for example, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, up to Sunday, okay? You can make a sentence saying, I have class at 8 o'clock on Monday. Or you said, on Sunday, I don't go to, to school, for example. Hmm? On can go also with weekends. In American English, I think they, I think they said on on weekends, hmm? on weekends. You said, I go to the movies on, on weekends. Hmm? I go to the movies on Saturdays. You said, I go out with my friends on Christmas. You said, Christmas is celebrated on the 25th of December. This is the use of on. Now, let's go to at at can go also with specific places for example you said i go to school but you said i am at at school we said specific places okay you said at school You said, I am ill today. I am at hospi hospital. You can say at hospi hospital. OK. You can say, I work at the American school or something like this. OK. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I can go with specific places. You said, I go to school. But if you are at school, you said, I am at school. Mm -hmm. I go to school. I am at, at school. Let's go to the use of at again. It can go with time to time. Okay? You said, for example, tomorrow I wake up at 7, 7 sharp. Okay? I wake up at 7 o'clock. You have class. You wake up in the early morning to take a shower to prepare yourself for school. You have class at 8 o'clock. So, mm, you can't be saying here on, but you said at. I can go also with weekends. So you can say at weekends. As you can say on weekends, it's optional. So most of the time teachers accept when you said at weekends or you said on weekends because it is about American English and British English. But it doesn't matter whether you use at or or on at this level. Now let's go to to, we said to is a preposition that goes with verbs of movement. We said verbs expressing a movement. Okay, and for this verb, if we list them and we give examples, you can say go, for example. I go to to school. Okay? You said return is a verb of movement to return. I return to my house. When you finish your work, when you get off, okay, you return to your house. You said walk to. So, c'est comme si vous dites, je marche pour aller à and like all, you can say, I walk to school. I walk to, to school. Mm -hmm. You can have also, come to, okay? I come to your house for um, any activities, okay? Come goes with uh, to, okay, here. You can say also, um, so return to, walk to, go to, come to, if you say come back also, I come back, okay, use to here, okay, if you say I come back to, to you, hmm? use here, you too. and last, we're going to see since, 
So when it comes to sins, we said sins marks the debut of an action, the start, or we said the debit, or we said the start of an action. And for expresses durée, duration. But for since and for, you can interchange them um, using, okay, for example, you can say, I have learned English for four years. Okay, with this sentence you express duration. I have learned English for four years. You express durée, duration. And for this sentence, vous dites la même, la même chose, and you said, I have learned English since Two thousand and fourteen. So would it la même chose ici? It's like you said, Makisal has been president of Senegal for six years. Or you said Makisal has been president of Senegal since two thousand and twelve. So the meaning does not change, okay? You can interchange since and for. You said since marks the debit of something and for expresses duration. So this is the second lesson I present to you about prepositions. I hope that you master your prepositions now.